What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, another video. Today, I'm gonna to be doing another flip cup. The colors we'll be using today are dioxazine purple. We have a neon green and iridescent violet blue from Pebio, which is a gorgeous color. Now, all of these colors, with the exception of this one cup of dioxazine purple, were mixed with one drop of Penetrol, just to continue to experiment and see the different effects. In the past, I've had a whole bunch of good success with it, but with that, we're just gonna get right into this pour. I'm gonna layer this cup similar to how I layered it in my other. So, it will be a split cup. So let me, I started with a purple base. The colors, like this little iridescent color right here is a beautiful color, you guys. I absolutely love it. Kind of this, a similar idea. I want this neon green to be more of an accent color. Now these colors are mixed uh, two parts pouring medium to one part paint. It gave me a fairly thin consistency, probably to a, a trace of a one or two. Keeps trying to travel down the side of the cup. Yep. All right, let's continue to layer this cup. Now it is a three ounce cup, so it is considerably smaller than what we've been working with with our previous ones, but. We are working with a 10 by 10 canvas. It takes about 3.4 ounces or so to get it coated. And then I still have this purple, doxazine purple base coat right here that we are gonna layer on it. How's everybody doing this wonderful day? I hope everybody's doing amazing. It is still warm here in Detroit. And I'm going to do this and then go art shopping. I always go to the, the Michaels out there in Dearborn to restock and I'm getting to the point where I might need that. Not too long ago, recently found a Blix art materials down in downtown. And I had never been to a store like that. So sometimes I go there as well. All right, so we got our little base coat laid down right now. You can already see the cells blooming in this cup right here. We're gonna do another one of our splat flip cups. Was a little cleaner than our last one. But right now I'm just letting that paint kind of settle down in there there. There's gonna be bubbles in this paint. There's nothing I can do about that just because of the nature of the flip. All right. But I think with that, we're like basically ready to pick it up. So here we go. That's a beautiful color right there. Look inside that cup though. There's some really cool stuff happening in there. Look at these cells. What? Well, all right. Let's apply a little bit of heat. See if we can get a, a reaction going. I've seen some gradual changes. Nothing too crazy. Maybe a little torch in the pink area here. See what we can make grow. Well, 
That's beautiful right there. Adding that bit of paint to it. Mm-hmm. I love that. Now these colors are crazy. That neon green with the dogs in purple. And then that blue, blue magenta color is really making some striking colors going on. And we go around the edge and give this something to flow on. Maybe we'll have like a decent little, like maybe this will cause a little bit of this color to pearl on the edges, which that would be quite a striking color. Sorry, now I'm just wetting the edges so that these colors have somewhere to flow. And I think we are ready for the the spin. What about you guys? All right, let's do this. Wow. All right. These are very Halloween type colors together. But yeah, we're seeing all these cells continue to open up. I'm really happy we still have some really stark uh, fluorescent green in there. Let me see what we can do with this. As you've seen in the past, the heat gun is a very gradual change. You can identify where you're looking to put those cells. And you have a lot more control over what happens. And we are getting a little bit of purling going on in the, on the sides. It's just where the top coat flowed over. The, the layers underneath, and now the layers underneath are starting to push their way through. It's glorious. Alright, so we've got a little bit of cells going on with that. I have a couple bubbles that I would like to pop. I know that there is one right here. Uh -huh. I'm thinking I might want to do a little bit of the torch in some of the bearer spots. I kind of like this really flowy flat look there. I feel like I want to bring a little bit more into that. Not too, too much, just a little. actually like this just the way it is. So I really don't want to change anything. But let me get you guys down here. I want you guys to check this thing out. We'll see it in its wet iteration. And then once it's dry and varnished, I will definitely bring you guys back. I'm really loving having a single iridescent color with these because it adds that really beautiful shimmer and shine to every color on the canvas. I love how some of this greens maintain their sharpness.
If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.